with the 24th pick. The Dallas Cowboys select. select. There we go, baby. It is officially on here. Frisco Report. It is draft season. Full speed ahead, guys. Appreciate everybody in the, in the chat boxes joining us. Catch us on the replay. I'll break this down in chapters, and you can watch it on the replay as well. So shout out to everybody joining us tonight. We're hitting up the Senior Bowl, Fast and Furious. Mike, how are you doing, bro? Good. I'm good. I'm ready to get this draft season, free agency season, all this stuff over with. But today is strictly Senior Bowl. I'm ready to hop into it. Yeah, there we go, man. So this is going to be our uh, this is gonna be like our third season here, Mike, doing uh, draft stuff. So yeah. It's time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, this is just the first of, of things to come here for, for me and Mike. You know, we'll definitely be doing mock drafts. You know, we'll obviously follow up on how the senior bowl went, who stood out, and also the important – who did the Cowboys meet with? You know, the the rumors, you know, possibly like what positions they're targeting and that sort of thing, guys. So without further ado, Mike, the Senior Bowl kicks off this weekend, uh, this Saturday, February 5th. Uh, but the practices have kicked off today. So everything is underway. Uh, just the first practice today. And, um, you know, they'll be going the rest of the week pretty much, you know, leading up to, to Saturday. So lots of uh, news and nuggets we're going to get to. We're going to go over our watch list. You know, we won't go through the whole roster because, you know, we haven't seen all these players. You know what I mean? Like it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be possible. We're, we're not like. Mel Kuyper or, or anything like that. So, but we will give you our prospects that, that we that we have looked at, who who we like, and you know maybe how they fit in the Cowboys. So, Mike, let's kick this thing off and uh, just just let everybody know who you're going to be watching at the Senior Bowl practice and in the game. Yeah, for sure. So, my my basis is basically left guard, and and I'm looking at two left guards. I'm looking at a right tackle. Um, looking at two running backs, Joe, and I'm looking at a strong safety. And that's and guys that follow the Frisco report, I have my pet cats. Last year was Felipe Franks. This year, you're about to find out who it is, okay? So, starting off with the old line, Joe, uh, he, this guy is a Texas native, was born in DeSoto, Texas, all right? He's 6'3", 315 pounds. He's a left guard, Joe, out of LSU, and his name is Ed Ingram. Um, definitely keep an eye on him. I like his speed. I like his power. I like his impact. Uh, what I'm watching in the senior bowl, Joe, is pass protection. I'm looking at his run blocking scheme. Um, but the power and the speed that this big boy, he reminds me of a Ronald Leary. I'm going to put that out there. He reminds me of Ronald Leary. You know, we've been trying to replace Ronald Leary forever. Ed Ingram out of LSU is a guy I'm keeping my eye on. Left guard out of LSU, right? My second one is Marquise Hayes out of Oklahoma, another left guard. He's 6'5", 324 pounds. Um, I like his power. I don't like his speed. I'm going to be watching his speed in the senior bowl, Joe. See how uh, when he has to get up and go, see how he does with that. Um, it's, it's almost a night and day comparison when you're looking at Eddie Ingram and you're looking at Hayes out of Oklahoma. Um, but I'm going to be watching his fast protection. I'm going to be watching – uh, his speed in the Super Bowl, obviously there's pro days and stuff that will justify some things for me there. But this Pro Bowl, I'll be able to get game time uh, study on him, right? Not just Pro Bowls and measurements and stuff like that. That's our uh, uh, pro day measurements and stuff like that, right? This is actually yeah. game time. Let's sit down and watch him. And then I'm going to go all the way to right tackle, Joe. This guy's name is Max Mitchell. Um, Max Mitchell out of Louisiana, 6'6". 297 pounds. I what I what I want to watch is on the film that I watched him. He does a lot of leaning in the NFL. When you lean, you get beat, right? You have to stay upright, get your hands in the middle there. Um, he does it really good on one on one situations, Joe. When he has to pass off and stuff, he tends to lean. So I'm gonna be watching him. Uh, see if he leans, see if he can stay upright, see if he can control one on one. He's really good, but I want to see if he can pass people off efficient, efi efficiently. Um, uh, but I do like his size and I do like his strength there at that right tackle. That's Max Mitchell out of Louisiana. All mm -hmm. right, so that's my offensive line it's two guards, two, two left guards, one right tackle. Uh, let's go running back. Okay, don't be surprised here. Oh, we got Zeke. He was hurt. PCL. Mm -hmm. He's getting. He's getting 
as Joe likes to call it, long in the tooth, right? Yeah. So we got to look at this, guys. It doesn't mean the Cowboys are going to draft them. really doesn't mean the Cowboys are going to draft But you have to, you know, look at somebody and say, hmm, I wouldn't mind them on my team, right? Let's start with uh, Hassan Haskins out of Michigan, 6'1", 220 pounds, almost the same measurement as Zeke Elliott. Not saying he is Zeke, uh, but almost the same um, measurements. Uh, has good vision. I like the way he runs low to the ground. He keeps his padded level low, Joe. Um, I want to see if that translates into the senior bowl. How did he work with NFL coaches on that pad level? Um, great vision, like I said. Uh, I'm going to be interested in his 40 time during the pro day uh, because I don't really see a yeah. lot of bursts and speed there, Joe. Right. But I will be watching Haskin, Hassan Haskins in the senior bowl along with another running back, Devontae Price out of IFU, uh, 6'2", 215 pounds, more like a, a Mar, uh, Kamara lean. Um, he, he's a high runner. He likes to keep the football here and run. I want to see him get a little low. I want to see him be a little more physical. Um, but I'm going to be looking for how physical he can be in the senior boat. <sighs> so that's my running backs that I'm looking at here. All right. My pet cat, guys. Are you ready, Mario? Are you ready, Soup Trap? You guys ready? Here we go. Brian Cook out of Cincinnati. 6'1", 205 pounds. He's a strong safety. Definitely a pet cat of mine. I like that he plays coverage on tight ends. I like his – he's a smart tackler, right? Um, when when he goes and he pursues, he don't, go, he don't target head area. Great coaching there at IFU on how to tackle. Um, he, he, he'll hit you right in your chest. He'll wrap up. He's almost like a Micah Parsons out there um, with the speed and stuff. Uh, he could play in the box. He could play outside. When he when he sees the ball, bam, he goes, right? Brian Cook, a strong safety, is definitely one of my pet cats. I really want to watch him in the senior bowl. All right, bro. Good, good stuff there indeed. Good stuff indeed, man. So, yeah, a lot, a lot of good little prospects to cover here. You know, obviously Mike looked at a, at a whole, uh, you know, variety here. And I agree, Mike. Running back, you know, um, Zeke is the, – the PCL, it's going to swell up. You know, they're, they're, he's saying that they weren't going to do surgery, but that's the type of deal that you're going to need something probably. And, and if not, it will flare up again, and you're going to be, you know, gimpy. You know what I mean? So – um. You do have Tony Pollard, but you, you do have to have a contingency plan here. And and Rico Dotto is not the answer. This that guy's injury prone up that. So forget about him. Maybe Corey Clement, you bring him back, but I'm with you, Mike. Let, let's 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 take a look. You know, and, and we're not talking early, guys. We're talking right. mid round, DeMarco Murray, this type of guy, man. You know what I mean? So, you yep. know, third, fourth, fifth round, somewhere like that. You know, so I'm down with it. I'm definitely down with it. Uh, we're going to take a look at, at my list here. And uh, Mike and I, offline, we're going to start to build our board, right? Like everything Mike's talked about, everything we're talking about tonight, and how they look in, in, in this bowl uh, game, senior bowl, we're going to start building our board offline. You know, we'll, we'll get together, and then we'll reveal it as we go through so you guys can follow along with us. So uh, let's take a look at the senior bowl watch list that, that I came up with here, Mike, and I'll go over some of my notes um, from the national team, from the jets, Kobe Bryant. All right. The, the Cincinnati um, cornerback. All right. I, the Cincinnati, they have a lot of good players coming out um, in this, in this draft. And he, he's one that, that um, I really like. And I, I think it's a player that, that a lot of players, a lot of people should, should take a look at. You know, when you take a look at uh, Kobe Bryant, Thorpe winner, so he's got the credentials. You know, so take a look at him. Majai Sanders, the defensive end out of Cincinnati. <coughs> uh, he, I think he had a, a good practice today from a couple of uh, things I saw from uh, Brugler and some other uh, outlets. So Majai Sanders, though, the other thing about Majai Sanders is he's a little bit stiff to me. He kind of reminds me of the um, – the one guy that came out like I think like two years ago out of uh, uh, Florida, the Bulls, late round kind of fifth round type of guy. So you know, you take a look at Manje Sanders. He, he's you know strictly a pass rusher. I, he I would like to see more moves out of him. Now this one here, 
Arnold, uh, a better KT. This one actually, we'll have to, you know, uh, clean up some of the pronunciations because some of these names are kind of difficult, right? And this is the one right off the bat, right? Right off the bat. Um, the notes I have on him, uh, obviously, Penn State, you know, comes out of, um, he's a Temple transfer, 9.5 sacks on the season. So, um, you know, some people might consider him a, a one-year wonder, but you know, coming out, coming out of Temple, that's a, that's a good, strong defensive program. Comes to Penn State, notches nine point five sacks, good edge, good bend. I keep an eye on him in this one. Chad Muma. This is a this is a name that you're probably hearing, you know, already. You know, um, this has been out there in, in, with the, uh, you know, the draft nicks that are talking about it. Chad Muma, kind of like a Logan Wilson, comes from the same program. 6'3", 246. So good size, good weight, a tackling machine. I think he notched like 140 or 100. I mean, he had, he had a crap load of, of uh, tackles uh, out of Wyoming. So take a look at him. You know, uh, if you're the Cowboys, I think you you it doesn't hurt to add another linebacker into the team, Mike, because, you know, we're talking about uh, Michael Parsons. We got some guys leaving in free agency, Mike. So linebacker, you know I wouldn't be surprised if we take one in this draft, right? Yeah. No, I, I wouldn't be surprised either. I know a lot of people are screaming for Jabril Cox. He's coming off an ACL injury. Uh, he was benched for a while, had some PT, uh, looked really good. But let's see how he battles back with that ACL. But you still got to get you some uh, reassurance there, Joe. So I definitely agree with looking at linebacker. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Brian Asamoa out of Oklahoma. He's a, he's another one here. The Oklahoma linebackers, they put out pretty good linebackers. So take a look at Brian Asamoa. Uh, Zion Johnson is, is one of the guys I covered early in my draft coverage. Big offensive mauling guard uh, out of Boston College. So uh, watch him in, in this uh, senior bowl. He'll be one to, to look at. You know, this guy uh, in, in several mock drafts, late one, you know, more likely a two, but – you know, depending on how he looks, you know, he could make some money. I mean, that's what happened with uh, our boy, you know, Zach Martin. Zach Martin was pre-senior bowl. He was a second round type of guy. But once he got in there in the scrum, had good, that was good battles with Aaron Donald, his stock rose. You know what I mean? And a lot of people wanted him, but the Cowboys, they made the right choice in it and took him over uh, Manziel, obviously. So Zion Johnson, let's see what happens there. Mike, offensive line, like you mentioned earlier, it's going to be a target for the Cowboys. It has to be, you know, I mean, you got to get some more depth in there. I think the, the free agents that we brought in this last season were more of the same kind of guy, right? You, it's kind of like a, a Fleming, uh, you know, uh, Inseki, like just like you really don't want to have to start those type of guys, right? I feel like, you know, you're getting it – uh you're going to get Josh Ball back into the mix. You know, he 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 bulked up during the season, pretty much a red shirt season. But I don't think you stopped there, right? And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. you got to get that guard fixed. But you also got to, you know, get some depth in there and that sort of thing. Andrew Stuber out of Michigan. Uh, from what I heard today in the first uh, practice, he had a good one, you know, per Kyle Yeomans. Uh, so I have him here. He's an offensive tackle, but I, I, you see the I'm pointing him as a guard. I think he'll be better as a guard at the NFL level. So keep an eye on Andrew Stuber out of Michigan, you know, possible guard, you know, and I think of all the positions, I think guard is probably your, your number one need, you know, um, but tackle is, is also there. So this guy gives you that flex, right? You know, you, you get a guard if they keep Tyron, and then he goes out, at least you, you have more players that, that can flex out. You know what I mean? So, yes. Running back, Mike, you mentioned it too. And this is a guy that I like here, Rashad White, running back out of Arizona State. This guy is uh, fleet-footed, runs runs really f well. Um, smooth runner, man. He, he, he really does remind me of an Eric Dickerson, DeMarco Murray type of style. Uh, physical, can catch the ball. I think he's well-rounded. And that program out of Arizona State, you know, they're, um, the coaches, they get those guys NFL ready. So Rashad White, and this is a guy that had a pretty good practice as well. Mm -hmm. And he's got good size. He's like 6'1". So good size. I know Mike McCarthy, he's drafted, you know, some some running backs in the past with, with good size. So we'll take a look at him. <clears throat> 
uh, tight ends, Mike. Yeah. I got one here. I got three, actually. Um, and, and this is – well, actually, I got four. I'll highlight them all here. And this is really – you know, these guys are getting mocked anywhere from the end of the first all the way to the fourth and fifth round. So – but you have a lot of good ones. You know, there's a lot of conversation as far as, like, who is the number one tight end? Is it Trey McBride? Is it, um, you know, the kid out of out of A&M? Mm-hmm. Um, some people, there's a diff, there's a flavor for anybody. You, you, a lot of these guys, I wouldn't say any of these are complete. You know, they have, they have their strengths, they have their weaknesses. So you don't really have, you know, that number one, super well-rounded guy, but you have guys that, that are red zone threats. The Cowboys need that. I, I really like all these. I think, uh, Trey McBride's really good. Charlie Kohler, Colt Turner, Jeremy Rucker, you guys know how I've been on high on him for a while. So keep an eye on him there. All right. Wide receiver, Mike. You know what 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 does happen there? Supposedly they're gonna keep Amari Cooper. And so, you know, we'll see if that's the case. But if it's Amari, CD Lamb, do they bring back Michael Gallup on the cheap? Do they keep, you know, Cedric Wilson? You know what I mean, and how how comfortable are you with uh, you know Malik Turner stepping up? So, wide receiver, you know could could be a you know a day two, day three type of pick. But Jahan Dotson out of Penn State, I think he he'll be there. I think he'll be in that range where the Cowboys are at. So depending on who's wiped out, what we do in free agency, Jahan Dotson <clears throat> would be a Dak friendly type of wide receiver, and that. You know, you you you'll use them in curls, you use them in, in crossing patterns, slants, this sort of thing. So something that hopefully, if we're bringing back the idiot Kellen Moore, that they, they, they can scheme up these wide receivers, you know, to run these type of routes that that, that can really excel at. Because you know, you and I talk about this. The deep ball, it's not it's not his game, right? Right. Fifty passes a game, that's not his game. We gotta we gotta cut that down to thirty or less. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. you get get these type of wide receivers on the team that that will help in the, in that that type of thing. You know, just little short routes, man. If it's dink and dunk, what whatever. I mean, a lot of teams are doing that anyway. You know, I mean, sure we would like you know the guys that throw the the deep ball, but that's not what we're what we're really running here, right? So, uh, two sleepers that I have here: Dominic Robinson, defensive tackle out of Miami, Ohio. Take a look at him and Bernard Ryman, offensive tackle out of Central Michigan. All right. Uh, Dominic Robinson, he's a mauler, man. This guy likes to get in the scrum. He gets busy in the run game and collapses the pocket. Bernard Ryman, this will be like your, you know, your, what's the guy that came out of here? Eric Fisher, I think, came out of Central Michigan, if, if I remember correctly. Bernard Ryman could be this type of guy, right? So we'll keep an eye on that one there, Mike. Mm-hmm. Um, guys, shout out to Brendan Chatbox checking out our draft coverage, Senior Bowl. You know, uh, going through these through these players. You know, so you can guys can keep an eye on it. You know, if you can search Twitter and find out who is excelling in practice. You know, we'll, we'll definitely have another follow up show after the Senior Bowl this weekend. Moving yeah. on to the American team, guys, the Lions. Roger McCreary, I like him. The only thing that, that I think dings him is the height. What will he measure at? You know, is is he 5'11 or is he six foot something? Every year, you know, a lot of us fans, we fall in love with, with the scrappy smaller player. You know, last year it was the safety from TCU. I, I was never fully on board with that, but there were some others that were. They just don't draft these small, tiny guys. Okay. Dan Quinn is, is not big into that, right? Uh, they did have Kazee. He's he was five eleven, six foot, pretty close. But for the most part, Mike, they like the size out there, right? So, Roger McCree, you know, um, can you get better at at cornerback? Uh, How high is that on on your list, Mike? As far as the draft needs cornerback, I think uh, it, it's big on my list, Joe. I'm gonna be honest with you. Trayvon Diggs, yes, we know what we have in him. Um, and then after that, who do we have? You know, I, I know. I know boss man fat there. I I think he's going to draw a lot of penalties. He was too physical. And, and I trust me, it's football. Yeah, you got to be physical. But there was a lot of 
personal foul penalties, call the boss man fat for just doing stupid things. Will that translate to his cornerback position? Hands to the face penalties, pass interference, holding, stuff like that. So I, I, I like boss man fat, don't get me wrong, but how does that correlate with that physicality onto the football field, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then Jordan Lewis, I mean, he, he's hot and then he's cold. He, there's no consistency there. Uh, Anthony Brown, same thing, really no consistency there. Um, so cornerback to me, if we can get better and, and and hurt somebody's feelings, let's just do it. Yeah. No, you know it around the head, man. I, I, I as because we did, we, we drafted a lot of them, but Nashawn Wright couldn't really crack the the lineup. You know, more of a special teams kind of guy. Mm-hmm. He did look good in camp, but you know, there, we always have the camp all stars. It happens every year, Mike. Right? Every year. Um, you know, Kennedy, Deshaun Wright, and then when the season oh, Kennedy starts, fooled me, I'll admit to that. He Kennedy yeah. fooled me. Yeah, and then when the season starts, you don't see them. So that kind of just shows the, the 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 need is still there. And I'm with you, Kelvin Joseph. I I think he'll start. Honestly, I think he'll eventually. He's going to beat out Brown, but you know, um, the way these officials are with the Cowboys, it's it's a little bit ticky tack, right? But they they'll be on him. So. Yeah, I'm, I think we would definitely be in the market. Definitely be in the market. And you you said it well. You know, uh, Jordan Lewis, hot and cold, man. Sometimes he'll, he'll be like the MVP of the damn game. And then sometimes you're like, where is he? Oh, he's on the bench. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so cornerback guys, keep that in, in, on the back of your head there. Darren Kendrick, to me, is this year's boss man fat. A lot of off-field stuff here with Darren Kendrick. You know, a lot, a lot of um, things to, to, to get over, you know, if you're if you're a, a GM of a, of a team. But definitely on the field, part of that Georgia defense and, you know, speed, size, I think it's a guy that, that you would look at, but not in the first. I think, you know, second, third, that type of area, you know, roll the dice type of player, Darren Kendrick is, is this year's boss man fat. So watch him in the senior bowl. See how, see what you see what you like out of them guys. We will get to the beef guys here, man. The double bacon airs, Mike, that we like to talk about. Mm-hmm. Fedarian Mathis out of Alabama and John Ridgeway the third out of Arkansas. Mathis, you know, there's there's a lot of of conversation as far as like, oh, Jordan Davis, Jordan Davis. Everybody's talking about. There's other guys out there. <laughs> okay. Um, Fedarian Mathis is one of them. John Ridgeway is one of them. Um, I like Devontae Wyatt, who's also with Georgia. You know, what impressed me about Devontae Wyatt out of Georgia is his his gas tank, man. That guy was out there like a lot, right? Maybe didn't have as much production in as in the sack category as uh, Jordan Davis, but. I think it's he's really close, man. It, it kind of, Jordan Davis and, and Devontae White kind of remind me of of the year when um when Brown from Auburn came out and and his and his teammate. I, I kind of forget his name right now, but those two defensive tackles were, were really good, right? And I think that's this year's tandem is gonna be Jordan Davis and Devontae White. But back to Alabama, this guy. I thought he had a really good a championship game, but not only that, um, pretty good tape out there, man. And uh, John Ridgeway, not not enough people are talking about him out of Arkansas. SEC player, very consistent. <clears throat> Let me see. I think I have some in-depth notes on him here. Let me see what did I write down on him. Uh, yeah, so he, he's a good one there. Keep an eye on him there, bro. I really am a big fan of him. Mm-hmm. And uh, he, he's, like I said, the other guy that I'm talking about is this uh, Devontae Wyatt. But before we get to him, or actually we already talked about him, Jermaine Johnson, bro. Number one on my draft prospect um, rankings wow. so right now. I really like this guy here. Jermaine Johnson, defensive end out of Florida State. You got to go. If you haven't seen him, you know, go go watch his games. If, if you can watch the All-22 catch the, some of those don't rely solely on, on highlights you know what i mean you you will see the 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 big plays and he he has a lot of them his georgia transfer you know georgia defense was super stacked and he wasn't going to get a, enough playing time but even when he did play at georgia he he had an impact there hit the portal 
Went to Florida State, knocked it out the park with 12 sacks, and he he gives you everything. Bull rush, spin move, swim move, uh, power. I mean, I just – I like how he's looking. And he played really well today. You know, he, he got kudos – from a couple people here, you know, in, in the first day of practice, you know, I think he had his way with uh, Kennard out of Kentucky. So that, that's, that's a good name to follow guys. Jermaine Johnson. If you want to get, if you want to uh, add some more weaponry on the edge, Jermaine Johnson could be, it. you know, we, we really don't know what the future is, Mike of, uh, you know, D where, I mean, uh, D law, excuse me. Yeah. And uh, Randy Gregory, you know what I mean? So I would imagine one of those guys will be back. I don't know if they bring back both. Maybe they do. But nevertheless, you, you have other free agents leaving here too, right? Like, are they going to keep Terrell Basham? Uh, Doran Armstrong, he, he'll be probably out. So Bradley and I, he got picked off somewhere. So that's, yeah. a, that's a need, you know? Mm-hmm. Neil Farrell out of LSU. LSU, they seem to always have, you know, these 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 really good guys that, that can contribute on your team. He's a guy that will be here at the at the senior bowl guys. Watch him. Neil Farrell Jr., defensive tackle out of LSU. All right. Mike, some more defensive ends. Kingsley Ingabari out of um, South Carolina. He, too, had a pretty good first day of practice. He was a guy that, that I, I liked early, early on. Not, I, I think people are kind of not talking about him right now, but he is going to be kind of like a Jermaine Johnson type where as we get through the draft season, let's see how he looks in um, the rest of the way here in, in the Senior Bowl combine. This name could, could sneak into – these earlier rounds. So keep on Kingsley. <clears throat> good program. Good pass rusher. Watch him, guys. Cam Thomas. Um, you know, this this is a Dane Brugler's uh, first guy that he gave in his mock draft 1.0. Cam Thomas. I looked at him. I did a video on him. Very solid, man. Uh, you can get to the quarterback, and that's what you want. Consistent numbers. He did get hurt today, however. So, um <laughs> yeah, so Cam Thomas got, got a little bit dinged up in today's practice and was in uh, street clothes the rest of the practice. So I don't know if he'll, um, you know, what the severity is of it, if he'll, you know, be able to even play in the game or practice. But nevertheless, somebody that will that'll definitely be ready to go for the combine and, you know, um, his name's going to be there for the Cowboys. So that that's a good one. Like I said, got dinged up today. You may not see him the rest of the, of, of the way, but that's a good one. Mike, linebacker time, like we said. Channing Tindall, Georgia. I mean, how many Georgia guys are going to get drafted in this draft? There are just so many of them this year. It's 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 almost like Georgia is the new, uh, you know, the new Alabama. You know, there. I mean, and 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 back in the day, Miami. <laughs> Right. Yeah, for they're, sure. They're putting in a lot of good players, solid players into NFL, and Channing Tindall, I think, is is another one. You know that that you guys want to keep an eye on. Um, watch him. This one here is a guy that I really like. Not many people are talking about him yet, but they will. Jojo Domon, linebacker out of Nebraska, mm. plays the run well. Solid tackler. To me, he's this year's Pete Warner. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pete Warner, you know, last year Cowboys had their eye on him. Kind of gives you that flex of a safety type player. You know, I don't know if they're going to bring back Keanu Neal. I don't think they are. No. Jojo Gilman fits that type of role and kind of what, what the new age type of linebacker is nowadays, right? Like Jabril Cox, you know, a, a Pete Warner, you know, these types of guys that are linebackers but have speed that they can drop in the coverage, right? They can they can take on a, a tight end, a running back, you know, and these sorts of things. So keep an eye on JoJo Doman, a linebacker out of Nebraska. That's a good one, guys. Keep him in the back of your head. And we'll close it out with this one here, Mike. Brian Robinson, the running back out of Alabama. Good size, good vision. To me, he's he's a better Kenyon Drake. You know, remember Kenyon Drake out of Alabama? 
Yeah. He uh, got, you know, pretty pretty decent draft um, when, when he got taken in the draft. But I think Brian Robinson has a uh, has a higher ceiling and can be physical in some way that can you can he can be a closer for you, right? <clears throat> I think he could be a, an every down back for you. He could be a three three down back for you. You know, uh, where would you take him? Um, you know, I think I think the sweet spot for him is is there again. You know, three, third or fourth round. You know, somebody may fall in love with him and, and take him in the second. You know, I don't know if there's there's a a running back right now who who will be, you know, considered a a, a, a clear first round pick this year. I don't think there's one out there right now. Isaiah Spiller from A and M, he might sneak in the bottom there. I don't know, but you know. This is a good draft for for running backs. If you wanna, if you wanna get younger there, if you wanna have somebody here just in case, lots of good ones, Mike. Lots of good ones, for sure. Guys, so that's that's our list here. You know, um, lots of good names to keep an eye on. We'll see how they look the rest of the practices here, and like I said, next next Tuesday, Mike and I will will follow up on this. You know. We'll hear the whispers. Who have the Cowboys met with? We'll talk about that. All right. We'll talk about how how did some of these prospects look in the game? You know, how did they look? Um, and how would they fit into the Cowboys? So these this is a this is pretty much our rough draft of players that, that we like. Um, Mike, you know, started the video with, with, with his guys. So keep an eye on, on those ones as well. And um, you know, this is where it all starts, right? It all starts. In Mobile, Alabama, man. Mobile, Alabama. Forrest Gump. <laughs> See what else we got here in the chat box. Appreciate everybody joining us here live and in effect. Yeah, Soup Trap. That was the uh, yeah Jermaine Johnson, right? Yeah, he beat that uh, Canard. Canard to me, I think he, he's okay. I, I don't know if he's he's a little bit too big for me. I think the also the the Minnesota tackle. I think he's like 380 pounds. He had a decent practice from what I read, but I just the guys that are really, really big, I just don't I don't think they fit the Cowboys um, you know, mold of, of what they want out of their linemen. We like to we like to pull, we like to be a little bit more athletic, we like to get in front of our blocks to the second level. Um, so you know, Kennard. Maybe, but the uh, the Minnesota Falele, I I don't I don't think we'll be in the in the mix for that one there. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, too 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 big, too big. Beth Griffin, good to see you in the chat box. Georgia Doman can play safety, exactly. Yep, he'll he'll be that that type of guy, right? So somebody that the Cowboys might take a look at there. You know that there was that talk about Jabril too. You know, oh, he might get chance, he might get. Converted to safety and this and that, but I, I like I like Jabril where he's at. Jojo Domon, he gives you that good flex like Keanu Neal, and I think that that'll be a good piece for you know uh, Dan Quinn. Let's see what we got here. John Stanley is the Senior Bowl the way for the team to get what is best, <laughs> or is it what it is? Well, <clears throat> the Cowboys historically have drafted a lot of, of prospects from the senior bowl. I think it's like um uh 18 or something like that over over the last couple of seasons, right? So yeah. And and players that have impacted the team immensely. You know, you can go all the way back to DeMarcus Ware, right? That's probably the, yep. the biggest one, Zach Martin, and of course you have some of the other ones that you know, Xavier Woods. I know people that's a sour taste, but he was in there. Louisiana Tech. I liked. I liked Xavier Woods out of Louisiana Tech. Man, I, I did. I, I just think yeah. he got coach strong. I mean, just like Cheeto got coach strong too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And then Doc Prescott obviously was the MVP of the, of the Senior Bowl. So a lot, lots, lots of talent that that comes out of this, you know. So we really. That's why I think it's very important to go through the through this list of players. Let's see how they look because there could be a future cowboy here. The little, little Don the Star. And hopefully, man, these guys will will really turn it around, man. Because you know this season was was extremely disappointing. So um, those are, are those were the list of the players, guys. Catch if you want to go back, and check that on the replay, screenshot it if you want. Yeah, Zion Johnson 
is a safe first round pick. He'll be productive. Yeah, like I said, for me, he's like a one two. But you know, like like we said, depending on how he looks here, that stock could go up. He could definitely be, you know, in, in that conversation with Kenyon Green. Like right? Kenyon Green is probably your your number one guard right now. And I know some mock drafts. Oh, Kenyon Green to the Cowboys. For me, I don't. I honestly don't think Kenyon Green's gonna make it that that far to us because. You look at some, some of these drafts. You look at last year's draft, or you know, Sean Slater. You know um, these guys went high. You know uh, the tackle to Minnesota. Um, the they, corners, the corners was a big surprise too. Yeah, these guys they, they got moved, and, moved and Josh know. Horn. Those guys mm-hmm. were surprises going back to back. Yeah, I like Zion. I, I he's he's one of the guys I covered early early in my prospect list and. Um, Good, good to watch, man. Good to watch. Check him out. Zach Pack, appreciate you, bro. But they did, though, because we got Michael Parsons. I'm glad, I'm glad they went where they went. Yeah, we did. We did. We we really did get him. Richard Spurrow, why aren't there any interest in smaller schools for talent? Like the receiver from WFT and Terry Hill. So that's a good question, and I think what happened was – Pre Will McClay, we you did see the Cowboys dip, you know, into the smaller schools, you know, William and Mary, you know, and, and these types of uh, programs. But you know, a lot of them really didn't have have an impact on the team, right? So they went back to the big programs, the Power Five, you know, um, SEC, you know, ACC, and, and these types of divisions. And I have no complaints myself, you know what I mean? But yeah, I definitely, I definitely hear what you're talking about, you know, but for like those type of guys, probably like late round guys, right, you know, that you would throw a pick at and see what, what he can give you, especially in the return game. Mm-hmm. I still hate I, – I hate having C.D. Lamb, <laughs> you know, returning punts. I just don't like that. So, yeah, man, we'll see, man. You never know. They can find a uh, a diamond in the rough. Diamond. Earl G. Dom 74, good to see you in the chat box, bro. Will we trade at any point? Uh, I don't think they will. You know, I, last, I don't know. What has it been, Mike? Like the last three, when is the last time we actually traded up early? I, I, you we, know, we, we've we, traded, we back, traded back late, late rounds, but early. And well, we did some trades to get, uh, well, I think we yeah, we traded and that's how we got Tyler B. I, I don't know. There's not a lot of, I mean, we traded for Demarcus Lawrence. We traded on the top of the second there. Yeah. Uh, but we haven't really made a big impact. A lot of it's been trading back, not really trading up. Yeah, it's been trading back and accumulating talent. So would they do it this year? I don't, I don't feel that, 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 that the roster is quite there yet. You know what I mean? We still have a lot of holes, free agency. They're going to sign their own guys. We're not going to make any splashes. It is what it is. The Cowboys, there's going to be a lot of hot names, sexy names out there, but – you know, rest assured, the Cowboys won't sniff any of it. We'll be week three of free agency, you know, signing our own guys and just waiting for the draft. You know, that's really what it's going to be. So, um, yeah, that, that's why I don't think you trade up because, you know, you'll lose picks trading up most of the time, right? So mm-hmm. uh, trading back, that probably works out a little bit better for them. But appreciate you, RLG Dom74. Appreciate you, bro. Is Amari Gaynor in the draft? That I'm not sure, bro. Can't answer that. Not sure. Don't want to. Don't want to say yes or no. I I really don't know. All right, guys. Well, that's that's it for tonight's show. uh, Covering our prospect watch. Uh, Mike and I will we'll get together offline and start building our board little by little, and you know get get our top fifty, top one hundred. You know where these guys could end up for the Cowboys. So. Make sure you guys check back next week because we're going to have a jam-packed show next week. Who are the Cowboys meeting with? You know, who, who are they looking at? Who who shined in the senior bowl? So you'll want to keep it here for all the latest draft. It's fun. It's a fun time right now, Mike. So, Mike, any closing thoughts before we cut out tonight? No, I have watched the senior bowl, guys. Joe had a lot of listed names there. Uh, I know it's going to be hard to, you know, try to do that, but – if you, and if you don't want to look at the list, just watch the game. Say, hey, I liked what he did. Look him up. You know, hey, I liked what this person did. Look him up. 
uh, I'm going to be doing that too. So um, I, I don't dip into uh, to college stuff until Joe says, all right, it's college time. So uh, so I, I learn, I pay attention to the chat, and you guys shoot out some names too that I go watch too. So, um, you know, this, I hate this time of year, but I love this time of year, you know. and uh, yeah. yeah, I know, right? It's like it, it is what it is, is, I guess. Yeah, it is, man. So that's what we have tonight, guys. Appreciate everybody that dropped by. If you catch us on the replay, hit like on your way out. Continue to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you for the next one, guys. Peace out, everybody. Peace. On one side, but that guy on the other <laughs> Senior Bowl time, baby. Senior Bowl. Senior Bowl.